Uh, turning to business news now, there is growing fallout to news that Kinder Morgan executives are getting a $1.5 million bonus. Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with more on this. And Tyler, both the feds and Kinder Morgan taking heat. Yeah, this is especially coming from opposition politicians on both sides of the aisle here. Both the federal NDP and the federal conservatives, they are um, putting a lot of heat on the government right now, criticizing this arrangement to pay off two separate $1.5 million bonuses to president as well as a vice president there. The point that the politicians are making is it's unfair that tax dollars will have to pay to keep these executives on board. The government, it's making the case that if they want the Kinder Morgan project to create jobs and get out there as soon as possible, you're going to have to keep the people uh, that have been leading the way for the last few years on the job here. Either way, Ottawa is now in the business of having to defend what taxpayer dollars are doing for what was originally a private enterprise. This is not going to be the last time we hear about a lot of complaints with regards to how our taxpayer dollars are being spent with regards to the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion. All right, Tyler, another story that has a lot of people talking this morning is CEO of Starbucks stepping down and we're learning that he could have an interest in public office. Yeah, Howard Schultz, he's the man who's been credited with really bringing it into being a global player. When uh, he was CEO, the share prices went about up 21,000% uh, ever since the 1990s when it first launched into an uh, initial public offering. He had two different stints as CEO. He ended up handpicking his successor, Kevin Johnson, last year. And uh, he was in the news recently with regards to uh, the arrest of two black men in Philadelphia who were arrested for simply waiting around. He moved swiftly to implement anti-racial bias training at stores across North America. A lot of speculation he may be gearing up for a presidential run. He's denied any interest in politics in the past, but just yesterday he told CNBC he's keeping the door open, but he wants to devote his time towards helping people. It would be interesting if we have another business leader uh, that's very notable in the United States, maybe make a play towards uh, the Donald Trump uh, presidency. Howard Schultz has always been a uh, supporter of the Democrats, so it would be an interesting presidential race if, that would, uh, if that's what comes to be. It certainly would. Tyler, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Sonia.